Hi everyone, welcome to my video on a Daniel Wellington Grace replica. Start out with the box here. You have the initials and the name of uh, the watch. If you look on the sides here, you will actually see. Let me, sh let me get a close up here. You can actually see that it is not smooth, it's actually been cut and folded. I'm not sure if it's the same as the original but I hope to find out very soon. So let's continue to the watch. I removed the watch from the strap. I must say the strap looks good. It, it has the seven holes. In most replicas it has six. As for the top of the watch, looks good as well. Uh, if you can see it engraved on top here. Let me show you. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but maybe a little like this show you I hope you can see this now the back of the strap doesn't have the initials on it the initials DW should be up top and then a genuine leather on the side here on one of these sides it's possible that this is the original strap but from an older model of 2014 the uh, first edition of the uh, Daniel Wellington Grace watches. But one thing that I noticed about the watch comparing to the original at the moment is um, if you look at the hands of the watch you can see the longer one is actually very good accurate but the shorter one is actually too short. It, that also gave it away um, one other thing was the crown of the watch. I compared it to a picture of the original. The indexes were, are perfect. If you look at the Roman letters uh, and if you check it out on the Daniel Wellington website, you will see that the Roman letters are different. They actually copied a Daniel Wellington Grace from 2014. Now continuing on to the back of the watch. Now this again is also nicely done. If you can see the water resistant is on top. You have Japan, Japanese movement on the right side and then the rest of the information uh, around it. Also the logo and everything are all engraved. Also what's uh, very good on this watch is you have actually the curve. It stops three quarters of the way and then flattens out. So that's also very nicely done. Also the horns are done good, you have the holes there, that's also nicely done. A 7mm thick watch and not a 6, as it should be. I must say it is done very nicely. Again as well for the pins, the pins are a very good match to the real one. And if you go back to the front, you'll also see the coloring. The coloring is very good. Uh, except the fact that it, the indexes are a little faded, but the hands are very good, the frosted finish on the watch itself is very good, and uh, the color of the crown itself, sadly enough, that is a little faded, the side where it's actually on your wrist. Uh, that was the watch. Also got the box, of course. Um, you'll see that the pillow where, they, where the watch is on, it's too small. You have a big gap on the side here. It should actually be filled all the way. So if I remove this, you have the paper book. You have the beautiful information and everything. You have the information on both sides. That's also very nice. Let me show you this. Instead of the original Daniel Wellington pin, I got this one. And overall, this is a very nice replica. It's, I must say, one of the best replicas I have seen. Sadly enough, I do not know where the seller got this from. Um, this was from a second-hand website. But if I know more, I will let you guys know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any questions, please let me know. I hope to see you guys soon.